What's up, my fellow reefers, Fragbox TV? Fabio's here today. He's our part time surgeon, and we're going to talk about making coral frags. So, when I frag. Let me ask questions. What do you okay. when you frag? What kind of interview is this, man? I ask questions, you answer. What are we, um, what are we fragging today? Well, this piece right here was a zoa colony that I fragged. No, it's not. Sorry, this was a can that I fragged. There you go, a cans. A can. Okay, let's restart the interview. No, it's going good so Too much far. Much editing. A can lordoensis. So, a can lords are quite tricky to frag. To frag them at home, mm, not sure how you would do it. You need maybe a Dremel, but we use here a special wet bandsaw that makes it quite easy to frag them. So, Fabia is very, very experienced. We have lots of a can frags in stock right now. Uh, Fabio's actually made all of the ones we, were, uh, we have here in the store right now. Our little fragging station here. So this is what we're using. It's the Griffin C40 made in the USA. Awesome tool. One of the tools of the trade. Um, absolutely need one uh, if you're going to be making coral frags. We have three, I think four of them actually in the store so that if one stops working we've got to change out parts, stuff like that. Really, really easy to make coral frags. Explain to us how you frag the eggs. I like to go along the main lines as you see so say I get a big piece like this I'll try to go along the thickest main lines and separate it into bigger chunks first versus fragging it straight into small pieces. Flake cans are quite tricky to frag. Scolies like these corals over here actually impossible to frag you shouldn't frag them. Torch corals also a little bit tricky most LPS corals without the right tools quite tricky to frag. If you want to try fragging at home the easiest ones are going to be soft corals, so your zoanthids, xenia, mushrooms, kenya tree. I'll show you how we fry kenya tree here in the store. So kenya tree is probably one of the easiest. So I want to show you in this, I'm literally taking some fragging stainless steel scissors and you just cut a head off. And the only tricky part about it is it won't, um, oh, I guess I just lost it in the rock work. I'll take another frag. You can't really glue them down, so I'm going to show you how we get them to attach because they're um, they're sort of slimy, and um, it's not going to attach to a plug. So let me show you how I do it. Little trick that we have here in the store. So one way we leave them here in these baskets for about a week, and they will naturally attach. This Kenya tree, most soft coral, they're so easy. I can literally frag it like that with my fingers. You don't even need to cut it. It's really soft. So that's why I was showing you in the beginning the A-can, some of the harder ones you need special tools. These are literally like that. So you can leave them here in this basket and it takes about a week and then eventually they will just naturally attach to um, some sort of substrate. So you chose this piece of live rock here. Then this you can go and glue down to your rock or to a, a coral plug or wherever you want. So it just takes, yeah, about a week. But if you don't have room in your tank for a basket like this, they're kind of unsightly. You know, they work here in our frag tanks. I'm going to show you one product that we have in the store that makes this really, really easy. So this is a little device from this company uh, called the Quantix. They're called Coral Crates. So it's really clever. What you do basically is fill this with some sand or rubble, and then you can put your recently cut frag. It could be a Zoa, it could be Xenia, GSP, Kenya tree, Suspicularia, any soft coral really. You close it with this so it, it's going to trap it inside this little uh, jail cell here. Sorry, buddy. And then it's clever because here on the bottom it's designed to fit into a crate, or if you have sort of like a, a frag rack, you can just plug it in or you can just push it into your sand and basically it just gives you a place to allow the coral to attach over the course of a week to the substrate. So that's from, we sell them here in the store, they're really popular, they're called coral crates or just look for them at your LFS near you. But it makes fragging super, super simple, just takes a week, roughly a week, depends on the coral. Leathers, some sorts of leathers and nephthias can take longer than a week but eventually they all will attach to that rubble and then they're really easy to glue and place from there. So you can see here that the Kenya tree is not very happy about getting fragged, but tomorrow he'll be open again, just as he was. They recover super, super quick. He's not even gonna know what happened to him. Surgery's over, he'll be happy. They're really, really easy to frag. 
Um, I think that's it for today's video. If you guys got any questions about fragging soft coral, fragging corals in general, I'll do some other videos about the more complicated ones, sort of like euphilia, what to look for when fragging those. Zoanthids, you should be a little bit careful with those ones. Duncan corals. Acros are a little bit easier. Um, LPS, depending on the LPS coral, they all require sort of a uh, different approach. So I think we could do almost a video, to, you know, for three of them or four of them. Anyways, getting way ahead of myself. That's me getting sidetracked for today. If you guys got any questions, comments, you know, hit us up. Please subscribe. This is Fragbox TV. And thank you very much for watching.